What's up guys? So we're opening up the shop right now. It's freezing here, except it's not freezing, but if you live in California, you're not used to cold weather. So when it's like 45 degrees, you think it's cold. Okay, so forgot to show you guys this really clean S14. It's up on the lift. When it comes down, I'll get inside it and show you. We got a customer that got this for really cheap. Got a good deal on it. It's really clean in and out, and we're gonna do a Jay Z swap in it. So Jeff has already pulled the motor out. We're gonna have the parts soon. We've been ordering up a bunch of parts to do the swap. He's gonna. It's a. It was an automatic car. He's switching it to six speed with a CD09, a 350Z trans, two Jay Z. He's gonna do a VVTi Jay Z, and then. Um, do a standalone ECU and nice dual pass radiator and intercooler, uh, treadstone intercooler, so that everything's just done right, so that he could probably, well, his goal is to have E85, so he can do like 500 plus horsepower, and then, you know, not have E85, and then do 91 tune also, where he gets like 400 horsepower. If, um, everything goes as planned and we have the right budget to do it, then we'll do a single turbo on it. If not, he'll just do that later. But um, I'll update you guys with the interior of the car in a second when it's down. So the lift goes really slow when it's empty. Not a motor in the car, it's pretty light. So it's kind of dirty in there. So Jeff will clean it up down in there. And we'll make sure that steering rack's good. Pull the battery out because he's going to do a battery relocation to the back. And then we wait for parts after that, but it's pretty clean in here. Overall, this is like a really cool car to do the swap in. It's going to be a street car. So it has like really nice interior. Everything's there. Um, and the paint's pretty nice overall, so this is going to be a really cool project. We'll update you guys as it happens. Alright, so we got the car down off the lift, and we gave it a little bath, cleaned up in here. So now it's like a new car again. This car is 180,000 miles, but it's like really, really minty, fresh, clean for a S chassis. Like I was telling you, we're all really excited about this one. So pulled this motor out, the KA dual cam. Um, it's like working pretty well actually. Took all this stuff out. He's getting rid of it. Um, we found someone that's gonna buy it and they came to pick it up. And then he's just gonna use the money from that for his invoice and all the parts he needs to do. Alessio! Jeff's doing a compression test over here. Cold, so it's not gonna be the high, as high of numbers, but he's getting this ready for. <laughs> Another customer. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's the update. And then Joe's eating. Cool. Oh, you missed. You missed your mouth with that bite. It's probably okay. Oh. All right. So parts have been arriving for Jude's car. Here's the Collins flywheel adapter setup. Brings it forward closer to the. Um, the slave for the trans. Here's his ACT clutch. We'll show you as we install that. Then we got a battery, battery cables, battery box that we can weld in the back, a Moroso expansion tank, more Collins stuff. Collins actually made this adapter, or not adapter, this drive shaft. So they have like pretty much all inclusive Ooh. kit you can buy. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Shifter. Shifter relocation relocated. brings it closer so <clears throat> the hole doesn't have to be as big on your trans tunnel. Trans mount. Trans mount. Motor S14 mount. S14 motor mounts. Yeah. That should be bolts and pilot bushing adapter things. And then the, the adapter plate is down there. The adapter plate is down inside here, which is just like a ring that'll connect to your 
block and then allow your transmission to ooh Renee's excited so she came to check it out. <laughs> Bam. So, ooh. Pilot bushing adapter. Open this. Oh, yeah. I think this is the mounts like they go in between subframe and these guys in these brackets, but if not then we need to buy the oh, yeah. oh, this solid mounts. That's gonna be cool. Perfect for a street car. It'll be nice and soft. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Kind of like race car stuff, but he's basically making a race car for the you track, the street, the track. We're in the process of preparing this Jay-Z to go into Jude's S14. Um, so Jeff had the upper intake manifold off, all the wire harness off and all this unnecessary stuff. Some of it's like stock coils, the, um, gonna upgrade those because eventually he'll do more horsepower than these can handle um, but then the reason we upgrade them now is because then when we get a custom wire harness from wiring specialties why not do it now instead of like cutting your brand new harness to adapt for different coils so that's kind of what we're gonna do on that one and why we did it so um, we found a couple things that you know Jeff wanted to replace one of them was like the oil drain hose. It had a, you know, it was pretty brittle and it was cracking and so then he took it off and yep. put a new one in there. Um, that one we left too. That one you left? Yeah, cause that one's That one's fun. super soft. That's not an OEM, huh? No. It's just this one's rock hard. But, um, we're replacing what's necessary. Overall, the motor is just kind of dirty here and there, but not a bad setup. It doesn't look bad. There's a little bit of carbon buildup in his his intake manifold runners. We cleaned that, got these plugged off, but we're going to be putting a radium fuel rail on there and Dietzworks injectors. He does need new um, spark plugs. He also needs new vent hoses, so we got to get some of those coming. And then we put a new um, Gates oil cap because his was broken. And then we kind of checked everything here. Overall, it's not pretty nice. Like timing belt looks good still. And then uh, we put these excessive manufacturing uh, motor brackets on there. So luckily they had a full kit for this car. It makes it easier on um, Jude's, you know, budget. And then does make it easier for us so we don't have to make anything custom so that's what's happening today with Jude's car yeah it's pretty cool um Jeff's gonna put this uh flywheel on bolt it down put the ACT clutch on there and then after that um looks like mostly prepared to set the motor in and then connect the transmission and get going oh no actually okay he has to still add um, where is it this guy this is shifter relocation for CD009 which will put shifter in the correct hole on the trans tunnel so that you don't have to cut up your car maybe a tiny bit of trimming uh, we'll find out shortly and then so he's got to do that, Claude. Got a little ways to go here, but he's working on it. And 